So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 8th Chrome extension development tutorial in which we're gonna proceed a little bit and parse some data from the raw HTML we are getting back and see how we can actually send a Chrome notification to the user, right? So if we go back to Twitter and get some tweet information from our Chrome developer tools, we would be able to see something like this. So every tweet has this div class of tweet, right? So what we can do is right here, first of all, we can say our let tweet is something like data dot find div dot tweet. And since we are interested in only the recent one, we're gonna go with the first tweet, right? So we can say now that uh, we have got this tweet in variable so we actually want to uniquely identify this tweet as well as i want to set an option that when i click on that notification we pretty much kind of send the user to that tweet so in that case we can make use of this data permanent link path because it would be unique to every tweet right so we can say that this is first of all we can get this link from tweet dot find or rather tweet dot attribute this one right next we want to get the person who actually tweeted so in this case it's world emoji day so let's just take a look how we can get that so we can see that it is a strong element with the, the full name class so we can make use of that right and we could just later on see if there's any some sort of um, different class as well used by some other tweet guy so we can say name for now is tweet dot find strong dot uh, what we have full name dot text and then finally we can just find the tweet as well, or rather the description let's just say tweet dot find uh, what we have right here for this thing uh, this is tweet text with a p and we can say this is text all right so we have got all our things in place so we can just console log like link name and description to take a look at the recent tweet hit reload go to background you can see that we get the link the name and the description of the tweet right so so far looks good and uh, in the next tutorial what we're going to do is just take all of this and create a notification out of it right so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support content like this then please check out the patreon link in the description that would really help and again thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one